Hey doing guys, Chris here. And uh, I haven't talked about this little guy too much. Um, it's something else I've been working on. It's basically alongside of my sub 250 gram seven inch. This is a sub 250 gram six inch. And it's a 6S quad. Uh, it's it's pretty fast. I don't even fly it on full 6S. I actually go into beta flight and limit the motor power output by I think 12%, 12 or 12 and a half or 13 percent rather. Uh, acts more like a uh, 5S because on 6S, just straight 6S, it'll handle it. But even on a straightaway, it tends to just kind of float up. So I limit it down to more of a 5S power and I can get a straight line out of it. So it's pretty good. And uh, these motors are the Hyperlite 2204, 20, no, 1722 KV. So 6S KV. And this frame is the Hyperbola 501. I believe it's their version two of their sub 250 gram frames. And it's nice. The nice, the super nice, the awesome thing about this frame is that these aren't five inch props. These are six inch props. I had to do no modification whatsoever. It just fits. Six inch props fit on this five inch frame. So that's why I made it. It's pretty awesome uh, to get this quad with a buzzer because I have to fly with a buzzer. That's just no GPS, but at least a self-powered buzzer. I trimmed up the canopy, uh, got rid of all the excess, only put in two screws. These are 3M, yeah, M3 screws, and uh, it's got an XT30, and I run a... 6s 350 battery to get this thing to sub 250 grams so it's when it does run you're getting about three minutes of flight time out of it so it's not a long time uh the quad itself in its current configuration weighs 192.7 and yeah i mean literally i'll show you a picture here Literally, with a battery, uh, it's, I think, 0 0.4, 0 0.6. I'll have to go back and look at the picture. I'd take the picture earlier. But it's the skin of its teeth being under 250 grams. Had to use this linear antenna. When you use a linear antenna with the Vista system, you don't start off right away with uh, 25 megabits per second. You actually start off with 19 and it diminishes from there. So you lose a little bit of resolution. And because of that, I wanted to save some weight somewhere. So Kebab FPV at FPV Cycle made these motors. These are 2203 slash 2204. So these are the V2s. So these should be straight up 2204 motors with 2800 kV. So I got a set of these basically to trim a couple of grams so that um, I could put my antenna back on, get better resolution, and maybe add a GPS depending on how much weight I save. I went ahead and prepped this motor to take off. As you can see, this is a T-mount. This T-mount will run with these gem fan uh, six, yeah, 60 by 26 props. So I found these online. I was pretty excited. I said a, a six inch team out prop. That's going to be awesome. Basically had this in mind for it. So with this pitch of prop, because these are 60 by 42 and these are 60 by 26. So obviously my quad's going to slow down. <clears throat> so is it worth sacrificing speed? for camera resolution or video quality and I'll find that out because this thing is so light is it going to make that big a difference we're going to find that out so I've got a motor prepped I've already desoldered this motor so that I could weigh it do a 
proper comparison with the prop that I'm flying with now. And uh, yeah, we'll see. We'll be right back. Let me get this set up. All right, guys, and we're back. And uh, we're all set up here. Uh, we're going to weigh the motors. We're going to weigh the propellers, weigh everything together, get a good idea of how much weight we're going to save by switching out the motors. And I also have an additional prop for the five millimeter motor or for the five millimeter shaft for this motor, just in case I don't like the way that the new motor performs with this low pitched prop. I have a lighter prop that I got in today that'll save me a gram per prop, which will allow me to switch out this antenna as well. So do we want to go for the most minimal change possible, or do we want to switch out the motors? That's where we're going to find out. So let's start weighing these motors out. All right, so this is the Hyperlight 2204 at 1722 kV. And the motor itself, with short wires, those wires are what fit, is 21.7 grams. That is with the prop nut. And I was using just two screws. So now we're up to 22.4. And then with this prop, this is also what I was using. It is at 27.1. Now, this is a, it's a 60 by 42, but who makes it? Looks like. Drum roll, please. Dell, it's a Dell prop. Now, I have this 6040 prop made by King Kong, and it is much lighter. I think it's almost an entire gram lighter. So as you can see, 25.8. So if I don't like the way these FPV cycle motors with this smaller pitched prop, this uh, 26, the 60 by 26 pitch prop, then we'll switch back to this. It's all about how it feels, right? So we got to wait on this guy. Let's see what the FPV cycle motor is. So let's do there. So I put a prop nut on that one. So I want to put a, the two screws on there. So 21.2. So with this amount of wire and the two screws, it is almost identical. Oh, take that back. 21.6, 21.7, 21.7 versus with the two screws. 21.1 and then I'm going to mount it with two screws 21.5 so yes there will be some weight savings there about a gram for just the motor and then let's leave that on and take a look at with the prop 24.6 so yes uh, we're talking about but it was a 27, so almost three grams a motor just by switching the motor and the prop. So that's pretty significant when you're talking about a sub 250 gram quad. So just the prop itself. So this is the 6026, and it is 3.1. This is the King Kong 6040. It is 3.4, and this is the Dell 60 by 42, 4.7. So as you can see, definitely lighter. So this might be the way I go, or could be this guy with the new motors. Uh, I'll put some flight footage up. I've already flown this a bunch, so I've got a lot of canned. Uh, video, but I'm gonna put this motor on first because that would be the easiest and I'm gonna fly around with this new prop and We'll see how that goes and then we're gonna swap out all of these motors put these on and uh, yeah 
I'll show you all three flights, at least a minute of it anyway. I don't want you to get too bored. But uh, yeah, stay tuned. So here's the original build and what it weighed in at. And uh, here's it with just a regular 4S battery. The 6S battery, something I had to make. So basically I put these two 3S batteries and then made a in-series connector for it. Uh, the flight, this is one of the original flights I had when I was just testing it out. And uh, I kind of wanted to simulate this flight with the next two flights. That way you get a good idea of exactly how this thing performs. Now, I'm noticing with this, my up tilt is pretty good on this quad with these props and these motors. Um, I as you see the up tilt changes just slightly from build to build i'm not sure i didn't go in and change the up tilt i mean yeah i hit some stuff so probably that's the result uh here's the next quad same motors the hyperlight motors but this is the king kong props uh you saw they were a little dirty uh you'll see why here in a minute uh as i'm flying i found this excavator Really wanted to play with that a little bit and uh, just barely missed that power line there. Uh, as I ran through, try to simulate the same path I did before. I think I actually reversed it this time around. You get the idea though. But uh, towards the end of the flight, you'll see that excavator again and you'll know why the props got dirty and uh, that antenna was missing. I'll let you keep watching. So now you're going to see why those props got dirty. I actually didn't stop recording. That's the DVR that stopped recording after I hit this power line. So that's where it cut off at. I wanted to switch out that antenna anyway, so this was my opportunity. So here we have the FPV cycle motors with the 20, no, the 6026 pitched prop and uh, trying to recreate the same path. But as you can see, the motors are in view now. So after I hit that power line, I definitely changed my camera angle. I don't have as much up tilt. So trying to hold a straight line at high throttle became pretty difficult because every time I'd apply the throttle, I'd get some upward drifting. So you really need to have a more aggressive up tilt if you want to keep a, a straight line with these ultralight quads. So, too easy. I mean, I'll go back in with a screwdriver and I'll adjust the up tilt. But with that being said, I wasn't unimpressed with these motors. I don't feel like I'm going too much slower. Uh, I think if I change the up tilt, I'll be somewhat comparable to what I was before. So, not bad. I, I mean, am I really going to go back in and change the motors again? No. I like how light this quad is now. I like the fact that I'm underweight significantly and that uh, it won't take much at all to get it to perform just like the other motors did. So I'll keep these and probably reuse the motor somewhere else. I just did a punch out there. And if you noticed, I didn't have any vibrations. Look pretty good. I'll do another one here. Look for some vibrations. All right, after I finish spinning. Here it comes. Yeah. That was, uh, of course, we're talking about at the end of the pack. So just wanted to get some uh, quick maneuvers in. And uh, that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. Until next time.